Their snap peas are coming in. They just kind of popped up like weeds and I definitely planted quite a few seeds in there, obviously. So hopefully those don't get too smothered by each other. But overall, it's looking pretty cool. Moving on to the oregano. It's still doing really well. I think I'm gonna take some of these off and try and propagate them for a couple people because I learned about that. But that's still doing really well. I've got my basil, still not too much, but it's, I mean, it's starting to come up a little higher than it was. So that's pretty exciting. Family have a marker for my kohlrabi, but this one's gotten tall. I mean, I think all of them I've gotten taller, actually. So we're doing pretty well. Hopefully those are okay in the placement that I have them. Oh my gosh, so I didn't see this, but this is the Saturday of week after week three. So it looks like it's got a little bit of a sprout coming through and this okra grows really well. This is what I grew last year and it like popped up phenomenally. So hopefully that will do really well again. I have very high hopes for this. So I wasn't really sure about the tomatoes because they didn't do well last year, but as of today, the, I guess end of week three, we have so many tomato sprouts up. There was only one of these up yesterday. But here in Virginia, we've only gotten, we've gotten a lot of rain. So this is very exciting news. So I can't eat tomatoes, but um, I know quite a bit of people that do. So I'm looking forward to sharing them if we have some growth on them. So here's my pellet box. We've got little baby greens coming up here, doing really well coming in very nicely. Um, I don't see any growth on anything else. There's one little sprout here, but I don't know if that's the cilantro plant. Oh, wait! We've got little ones here. I didn't see those. So, oh, there's more. I can see them right there. And then, oh, yeah, so we're getting quite a few. I didn't even see these. So this must be as of this morning, which is the last day of week three. And then, I don't see anything. Oh, we actually might have a sprout on the bergamot. Well, I just saw it and then, oh, that might be a weed though. I'm not really sure. Oh, and there's another thing too, but we might have some other seeds going on in here, like weed-wise. Still nothing on the red skin potatoes. I'm not really sure if those are gonna work well or not, but I have hopes for them. My mint plant, peppermint plant, is finally doing a little better. So that's exciting. My spearmint plant is like out of control. So I'm gonna, like I said before, I learned how to propagate it. So I'm gonna try and do that with a couple of these and hand some of them off to some people because I don't know, I don't even know what I would do with all of these. So I'm excited to do that. The thyme has grown like weed overnight because it wasn't looking like this yesterday. So I'm glad I waited until the last day of the week to film this for you guys because there's so much growth as of this morning. Um, the chives, I cut some off and used those in my food this week. But those are, look like they're still doing quite well. Pretty luscious looking. Alright, well that was gross. I just got a spider on my hand. <laughs> but this is their home, not mine. Um, I did plant some rosemary again. I emptied it out and put some new dirt in there. Um, it looks like I actually have a sm little tiny babies coming up for the California wonder, so I bet it's some new dirt that I got because it's pretty rocky here where I live and wasn't doing a very good service for the 
peppers last year. So here's my dill. <laughs> We're still uh, still coming in here strong. So I'm gonna take some of these out of here today and hand them off to some people if I can get them out without them breaking. Um, I still don't know what this is. I don't know what I planted. Still don't. Hopefully it'll come up eventually. I guess it's not a very good view of it, so eventually it'll have a name tag. But we've got quite a few more, and then there's another grove. I'm trying to get out of the... There's lots of wasps and bees outside, <laughs> so hopefully they aren't mad that I'm in their face. Anyways, so these are the green beans that I've shown you. We're actually... This one doesn't necessarily have anything yet, but this one, we can see this because this that was not there. I'm trying to stay out of the way. But like if you see it's starting to come up there. That wasn't there yesterday, and then this one has a nice size little guy on there. So looks like there's two. I think I planted three seeds, so hopefully those will come up. Um, I planted some leeks yesterday or the day before, so obviously there's not going to be anything there, but I'll keep you updated, like the rest of the stuff. We'll see, I think I planted four different, and I think I went a little overboard on the seeds, but I'm not mad about that. So I planted some garlic, I don't know if it's in my last video, but the... What are they? Okay, now I remembered. The cloves of garlic had sprouted in the fridge, so I went ahead and grabbed them, planted them. We've got about four here, so they're growing quite well. So I'm thinking, obviously, the different dirt from last year helped quite a bit, but um, these these look like they're going pretty strong. So those should um, I'll keep you updated on them. Those are pretty pretty awesome, but they're coming in so much, but the, a lot of rain this week helped us out quite a bit. Um, I also planted radishes like a couple days ago, I think. I don't think those were in my last video, now I'm not sure. <laughs> but they're already starting to come up. And I probably planted too many <laughs> for these two little spots that I planted them in. But I am very excited, I really like radishes. And they're very exciting to watch grow because I like being able to, I like the root vegetables. But yeah, they're doing, there's, there's a lot there in each hole. <laughs> so, yeah. So I've finally done my research like I said I would do on my garlic. I mean, this isn't garlic. This is lavender. It still smells really good. But, like I was saying, I learned how to propagate, so I think there's a way I can cut it off here and then I can stick it in water or just stick it in dirt and then have it start growing again. So I think that's what I'll do and maybe take these off since they're kind of dried already. And I don't know if, I don't even know if I can save these ones, I don't know if I can use these for anything, but they seem to smell still. So. I think that's what I'll do and take the dried stuff out and get some new stuff going on here because I'd like to do something with lavender but I'm just not quite sure what else I can do with it. I do, I am a nanny so I got the kids, um, they've been doing really well with their plants that we got for them so, or that they I let them pick out over the summer. And they've kept them alive, so we decided we're gonna plant some for like a science experiment for the homeschooling thing that we're having to do. Um, this one looks like these are beans. These look like they're gonna come through very soon. And then this is chamomile. I've never grown chamomile, so we're gonna see what all that does. I'm very excited to see this. So hopefully that will come into something. Here's my lovely citronella. Still some colorful leaves. I haven't gotten to do any research on this, but I know colorful leaves aren't necessarily the best thing, but there's only a couple of them and there's still growths. 
new growth, I guess would be a better word. So I'm doing something right. <laughs> and because of all the rain, like I've said, it's gotten a lot of water. So I'm pretty excited about it.